Oh, it's my favorite time of the week. And you know what? I'm in a slump. I'll just tell you the guys uh, that right now. Uh, I'm 20 and 15. I feel like uh, after 35, I should be something like 23 and 12. Had a tough loss last week. Can I just can I make an excuse off the top before I tell you uh, how you might invest your money? Let me let me give you an excuse. All right. The Buffalo Bills. Bert just alluded to this. The Buffalo Bills just completely messed around with the game. They were blowing out the Packers. Then they just got disinterested. Shame on me for believing in Buffalo. They got disinterested. They let the Packers kind of sort of get back into the game. They were favored by 11. They won by 10. Favored by 11. Won by 10. And I lost of the Buffalo Bills. So I should at least be 21 and 14. Anyway, that's the pass. Let's go forward. I'm excited for you. I'm feeling this week. Mm, I'm feeling a four and one. Maybe a risky five and oh. All right, we got Jets versus Bills. And since the Bills disappointed me last week, they're going on the road. They're at the New York Jets. I know a lot of you don't want to mess around with the Jets this week. You saw Zach Wilson last week, uh, very careless with the football. Threw three interceptions against the Patriots. Two of them were just like he just kind of flung it aside, like he was uh, uh, like he was littering or something. I, I just threw it, just threw the cup away, and somebody came up with it. Just very sloppy. But anyway, the Jets are a good football team. Most people don't aren't used to hearing people say that the Jets are a good team. They're getting 11 and a half points. Give me the J E T S Jets Jets in that one. All right, Commanders versus the Vikings. Shame on me. I hear you, St. Paul. I hear you, Minneapolis. You're saying I'm not giving you the respect. I hear you, Bloomington. I hear you, Eau Claire. Is that in Wisconsin or Minnesota? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, it's in Wisconsin. It's close by neighboring state. Anyway, I hear y'all talking about me. You know, I, I don't give you the respect that you deserve. Still not ready yet. Not ready yet. I think Kirk Cousins is going to be distracted, taking on his old franchise. The commanders are suddenly hot. Go with the commanders. Go with the commanders versus the Vikings in this one. Rams, Buccaneers, as I just mentioned to Burt Breer. The Rams are the more desperate team, and I don't think the Bucs are all that good. I've been saying that all year. The Bucs aren't really that good. Uh, the Rams haven't lost to the Tom Brady Buccaneers, and that's when they were that's when they were good. The Rams didn't lose to them. Both teams have gone down a bit, but I think the Rams know how to deal with Tom Brady. I'm going with the Rams here against the Bucs. Seahawks Cardinals, my first place. NFC West leading. Geno Smith residing. John Schneider, executive of the year ing. Pete Carroll, cheerleading. All that Seattle Seahawks. Go Hawks, a quarterback once said. All right. I'm going with the Seahawks. It's Geno Smith. I love that Geno Smith quote. Critics wrote me off. I ain't right back, though. Seahawks. Keeping that grip on first place. And the last one, this is outrageous. Okay. This is crazy. The Titans getting 12 and a half points. You know, the Titans have a really good record against the Chiefs. They are really good against the Chiefs. Historic, not just, it wasn't just a win last year. The Titans have matched up with the Chiefs as well as anybody in the AFC. Dare I say the NFL, 12 and a half. That's just too much to resist. I'm going with the Titans in this one and uh, family. Thank me now. Thank me la later. I'm feeling four and one on that. There's a loss in there that I don't deserve. It's going to come somewhere. Uh, I I'm going to get screwed, but I've given you good advice. My bets, your money. Let's check in next week and see how I did. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us. 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.